hello guys welcome to my channel again in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to make this zigzag design on my uh, kaftan on my placket kaftan placket and pocket okay so um let's get into it so the first thing i'm going to use to make a is a um, strap like this of about half inch right exactly half inch so the way i made it is just got the fabric and i folded it this way and i inserted my um, hemming gum i just got a hemming gum to that size and I folded it back and I gummed it with my iron and that's all. Is that pretty easy, right? So um, I'll just carry you through the process of folding where the, this where the major work is, one of the major works is. So you just put it like this, the right side facing up and you bend your first bend like this, making some sort of um, an L shape. Make an L shape like this. And you just carry your iron and, and press it down. Alright, so you are going to be working with your iron here very, very well, right? So you just, any bend you do, you pick your iron and you iron it. So you might um, do maybe a two bends, bend one time and then turn it and bend another time. So after you bend it downwards, then you bend it to the left again like this. So the first one is an L shape, then you bring it down, then you turn it to the left again like this. So just follow me carefully and see where I'm doing it and you do the same thing. All right so when you do that you use your iron to press it down then you bring it down again so this is one all right this is the first move all right so this um about three bends i mean yeah three bends is fair is one so you go through the process again turn it to the left which created the l shape in the beginning all right then you bring it down like this and you press you can see i'm doing two moves before i use my iron of course you can just be patient and use one move right so then i take it to the left again you can see you just have to be careful with it bend it and take it to the left and bring it down so you can see i made i made two turns and then i'll use my iron to press it And see so you just you to press it properly like really press it so that even when you are done um the shape will not move out it will be like this even if you straight it out you can still bend it and to come back to this shape so this is basically how to keep doing it so you just continue doing it like this use your cooler to cool it down so that's basically how to do it so you just bend the third one So you can see i'm doing another so this is the third one so the one i've done already is the second one now all right so i'm about to do the third one now so this is the third one i'm doing now so when you are doing it make sure you gum your um, hemming gum very well i see i didn't gum my hemming gum around this area very well so it's giving me a problem i had to gum it before continuing so i've gummed it and i'll just continue the third one it does the third zigzag right the third leg of the zigzag so i brought it down for a second move and i did so in this part i do i, I made three turns before ironing it which is fine if you can you should i think if you can you should so you just do it this way just make sure just take your time and do this part because the beauty of your design depends on what you are doing right now so you just press it And that's it so guys please like i'll always say if you are getting value from my video just do well to give me a thumbs up and if you are not um if, you are, if this is your first time of coming to this channel or if you've been coming to this channel but if not subscribed please consider subscribing so we just we just reached um 5 000 subscribers i'm so happy thank you so much guys i'm really really honored to have you on this channel so i'll just fast forward it and so that we can finish on time and voila here is what we have so i've done two one for my flap and one for my pocket so that's basically how to do it guys just, so just keep doing it um to the um, to the right down to the left down to the right down to the left that's basically what you keep doing so this is how to just place it on your um on your pocket just at the middle in such a way that it divides the pocket into two equal parts right so let me just explain how to do the curve the bending again for you using the tape since the tape is actually a straight line um a stripe like um stuff so you see i bend it to make an l and then i bent it down 
like this and then I'll bend it down to the to the left and I'll bend it down and I'll bend it to the right down left down right down that's basically what you'll be doing right so this is how to just um I'm, I'll just explain to you how to place it um on the caftan on, on the pocket so what you do is if you see if you notice this there's, there's a straight line in the middle you can see there's a straight line it created some sort of a straight line in the middle now is in that line you're going to sew so if you do it properly your light your so your stitch is not supposed to show because you're supposed to be hidden inside that line right so this is what you're going to do you're just going to open the top and then sew and then when you're done you got meat using your hemming gum and then you bend it back and you do the same thing to the bottom like this and the same thing you do the same thing you do for your um placket the same thing you do for your placket or flap whatever you call it right so let me just go to the machine and explain to you how to sew it um instead of talking right so this is my flap or placket or whatever you call it and then this is my pocket so if you don't know how to make a placket i have a um, video i'll leave it the, the um link in the description on how to make a placket like the easiest way to make a placket ever the easiest way ever so i'll leave a link in the description so you can go and watch it and be able to do it right so what you do right now is you just place your design your zigzag design make sure it's at the middle exactly at the middle right and you can see the way i left i'm um, a little bit at the top so that i can be able to bend it when i'm done yeah so like i was explaining you're going to sew at the middle just at the middle line in such a way that your stitches will be hidden inside that line okay so um i'll just go ahead and sew it so you see the way i'm sewing it instead of just um explaining with words i'll just explain to you how to do it right so guys like i said if you are driving value from this channel please just hit the subscribe button it's somewhere below this video just hit it and turn on the notification bell so that whenever i drop a video you are going to be notified about it okay so this is basically how to do it all right you can see so you just keep doing it gently like this making sure that it's staying at the middle of the placket so that it doesn't um shift and go to the side okay so that's it guys you can see you can see it you can see it's still nice sewn to the placket now at this point it is not going to move it's not going to shake no matter how you shake it so you just cut the excess just cut the excess and there you have your placket so all i need to do now is just to bend the top just bend the top like this let me cut off my thread there you go so i'll just bend the top like this use my hemming gum to hold it to the um top and then i'll fold my um i'll fold my um placket and then we'll go ahead to fix it on our caftans and I believe that's something everybody should be able to do. If you don't know how to fix a placket to the caftan, again, I left a video, I left a link in the description of this video so you can go and learn how to fix um, a placket to a caftan, right? So, and the bottom, you also do the same thing. I'm going to fold it this way, and that is how it is, guys. So, this is it, guys. So, um, you do the same thing for your pocket. I'm not going to show you how to do this for the pocket. I believe the one for the placket should cover for this pocket. So that's basically how to do it guys that's basically how to do it. it's this simple guys so um this is the finished work here you can see my pocket i made a little mistake it's tilted to the right a little bit and then this is my placket guys thank you so much for watching have a great day see you in the next tutorial okay guys before you go i just want to show you that i'm going to drop a tutorial on how to make a um, baseball jacket like the one you are seeing on your screen right now so please subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified when I drop it. Bye.